Ladies and gentlemen, this is your EIDL loan update for September 12th, 2020. In this video, I'm going to tell you what you need to do if the Small Business Administration declines your application for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan due to bad credit. When the Small Business Administration declines your application for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan because your credit score, according to the Vantage Score 3.0 credit scoring model, is not at 570 or better, then the Small Business Administration will not perform another credit inquiry to yank your credit report for 60 days time. Therefore, you do not want to submit another application for the same business or another business because the Small Business Administration will simply refer to the original credit report and the original score and simply automatically decline your subsequent application for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. Therefore, your option is to ideally get your credit score to at least 570 or greater according to the Vantage Score 3.0 credit scoring model and file for reconsideration using the following email. Whether you got your score to 570 or greater according to the Vantage Score 3.0 model, this template will work with slight modifications. So keep listening. According to SBA contractors on July 20th, the Small Business Administration prohibited applicants filing for reconsideration to apply with a co-borrower or file for reconsideration with a co-borrower that has a higher credit score. Nonetheless, according to the Small Business Administration press office, Carol Wilkerson told me that the Small Business Administration is allowing applicants to file for reconsideration with co-borrowers with higher credit scores. Nonetheless, the agency cannot guarantee that it will approve those applications, that it would take requests for reconsiderations on a case-by-case basis. That said, if you get your credit score above 570 or 570 or greater, or you were not able to get your credit score above 570, you still have a chance of having the, economic, of having the Small Business Administration approve your application for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. So you want to send an email to your loan officer if you have that loan officer's email address and to pdc.reconsideration at sba.gov and pdcrecons at sba.gov. In the subject line, you're gonna write your SBA application number and if you got your credit score to 570 or greater, then you're gonna, you're gonna request, you, excuse me, you're gonna write in the subject line, request reconsideration for credit report repo. If you did not get your credit score to 570 or greater, then you're simply gonna put request reconsideration for repayability method. In the body of the email, now, if you do not get all of this, don't worry about it. I'm going to include a copy of this email template that you can modify, copy, and paste into your, into your Gmail or your email application and go ahead and send that out to the email addresses that I just listed in order to file for reconsideration for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. And you're going to want to include in this email, you're going to want to attach the decline letter that the Small Business Administration sent you. You're going to simply write, I respectfully request, greetings, I respectfully request reconsideration for the SBA EIDL application, enter in your application number. For my business, enter in your business legal name. I was declined due to and enter your denial reason. Then you're gonna write, I believe that I can repay the economic injury disaster loan or I believe that I am eligible for an economic injury disaster loan because ideally you wanna write that as per my attached IRS documents, my attached, my most recent tax returns, I my business generates enough revenue to pay my business expenses, my owners draw the amount of money that you pay yourself, and the loan payments for the economic injury disaster loan. Attached are my supporting documents. Then you list all the supporting documents that you attach. Now, whether your most recently filed tax returns show that you can cover these expense business expenses, the owners draw, and the loan payments, if they don't do that, if for some reason you're, you, weren't, you didn't generate enough revenue in 2018 and 2019 to show that you can cover those expenses, you can say that as long as the Small Business Administration disperses the economic injury disaster loan, you'll have enough working capital to get your business to the point where it can pay these expenses. Again, list them. Your business expenses, your owner's draw, the amount of money that you pay yourself, and your economic injury disaster loan monthly payments. You list the supporting documents that I'm about to tell you that you want to attach to this message and simply write, please confirm that you received my request for reconsideration. Feel free to 
call me at 202-555-1212. Of course, you want to replace that number with your own phone number. If that is your phone number, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Best regards. Write your name and you want to attach the following documents. A copy of your government-issued photo ID. A copy of your business license, if you have one. Some businesses, I know you are able to operate without a business license. A copy of your LLC operating agreement. A copy of your corporation, incorporation documents. A copy of a business check, a voided business check, excuse me. A copy of your voided business check. IRS form 45060, which grants authorization to the Small Business Administration to yank your tax transcript. As per my most recent video, I showed you leaked emails revealing that the Small Business Administration uses tax transcripts that they can access directly from the IRS to compare the data that in your tax transcript that the IRS has on file with the data on your most recently filed tax returns. And you also want to attach your 2018 tax return and your 2019 tax return. If you haven't filed your 2019 tax returns, include a copy of your request for an extension, a copy of your decline letter, and you want to include schedule SBA form, excuse me, SBA form 2202 at your schedule liabilities where you will list all of your business expenses and include a link to your website showing that your business has an online presence. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments and questions in the comment section below. Watch this video right here for continued economic injury disaster loan grant and stimulus coverage. Click the like button if you like the video. Click the subscribe button to stay on top of my findings. You know what we that you know that we mobilize like no one else will and stop at nothing until each and every one of you is equipped with the monetary ammunition you need to save and feed your families, save your business, keep your employees on payroll and save this country. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America and everybody else on this planet. Have a great weekend. Talk soon.